Hoppy, last weekend, it was a big day for us. We had cameras out at Brighton. We also had a camera down at Bell Reeve Oval. And of course, it was the under 15s and 16s, Clarence versus Glenorchy. Let's get straight into those games, Duff. It was a beautiful Bell Reeve uh, and Clarence under 15s, 13 14, 92, defeating Glenorchy under 15s, 8 7 55. For Clarence under 15, goal kickers, J. Murray 4, Harper 3, Palmer 2, Continenza, McKenzie, Bell Chambers, and Westbury, best players. Dickinson, Harper, Bell Chambers, Franklin, McKenzie, and for Glenorchy side, under the tutelage of Lancey Rowbottom there, the goal kickers were Blackley 3, Grant 2, Kate Freeman, Holmes Knight, best players, Plummer, Kate Freeman, Blackberry, Grant, Walker, Johnson, Duff. Yeah, and look, a bit of a, a one-sided result, I guess, but uh, uh, having seen some of the vision, we can see Glenorchy did commit themselves very well on the day, and of course our goal kicker there was Brody Knight from Glenorchy, and Glenorchy did play pretty well on the day. Uh, another good tackle there, that's Jamie Pace laying one. And uh, yeah, some good plays by Glenorchy. But overall, I think Clarence with their running speed, I, I just don't know where they get that running speed from, Hobby, but uh, it seems to be very similar to their senior side. A couple of goals here for Glenorchy and uh, some good plays. But And uh, just to finish off with here, we should have um, Harper getting one down to McKenzie. What you like about this play was young Jared Harper, who's normally the, the dominant player in the under-14s. He's come up there, done the team thing, got it out to McKenzie. Really great play by young Jared Harper there. Yeah, so a solid win there to uh, Clarence in the under 15s. And of course, um, talking of Clarence and the development and everything that's happening down at their club, we're going to be expecting a call pretty soon from Cameron Blight. Hobby. Fantastic there, uh, Duff. And uh, with that, we'll move into the under 16 match where Clarence under 16s, 2016, 136, defeated Gonorchy, 7 3, 45. For Clarence, the goal kickers. Westbury 5 doing a fantastic job in both 16 and 18s. Bond 3, Shea 2, Bell Chambers 2, Chalmers 2, Yule 2, Collins, Artis, Godfrey, Fitzpatrick. What a gaggle of players there. Best players, Chambers, Hay, Burridge, Walker, Bond, Artis. And for Glenorchy, we have Van Lerup 2, Hutton 2, Mansa, James, Tonks. Best players, James, Van Look, Kay, Lang, Langridge and Tonks. Here we are, a bit more running play by the Roos, bringing the ball down towards the half forward flank. I think this could be uh, a goal coming up to the Roos once again. And this could be the boy, uh, Nick Shea. Gee, I tell you what, he goes around pretty well for the Clarence. And of course, Hoppy, yeah, we can see some good running play as usual with Clarence bringing the ball down there and uh, a good mark. Gee, these boys go around well, don't they, mate? And did you notice that great centre, looking for everyone in the right uh, position. Team orientated play and results in the goal there, yeah. Dr Clarence. You think that's player bond. And now look at this under lights at Bell Reeve on a Sunday afternoon. Isn't this fantastic for local footy? Yes, beautiful play by Glenorchy yet again, running play, kicking it down long and result in the goal to that's young Van Lurup there. And the last one, Duff? Yeah, the last clip that we've got, uh, Chambers uh, have it, had a big day, Chambers out on the ground. Uh, just getting the, uh, the mark here and um, I like the look of this boy and saw some of the vision he's got a really nice roost on him. And yet again Duff going the Carlton way, bouncing down the middle of the ground. That's the way to go, shortest way home. And I think this could be Cameron Blight calling us right now, Hoppy. We've been across to him. Cameron. Hello Martin. Oh, it's nice to you to join us here mate. Um, how's it going? Where are you today? Hi oh, mate, uh, just uh, working for uh, Ricky Langford at Healthy Business. Uh, had a half a day at Hobart uh, Hydro and down at Cambridge, uh, the Hydro office Cambridge. So, yeah mate, just doing the rounds. Yeah, Blighty, how are you going there? Good day, Andrew, how are you mate? Yeah, really good. I was just running through some of the boys that you've got playing there and I was, you must be very encouraged as an example in the under 15s. Jared Harper, I noticed, came up as one of the best players and He's a terrific young prospect, only an under-14 boy, and as well as these Westbury lads. I just wondered, is there some boys there you've sort of targeted maybe in the next few years who you think might go on to senior level? Yeah, definitely. Uh, actually, young, uh, young Westbury and uh, Mitchell Grace, um, he's come across from Bright in the um, playing under-18s. But, um, but yeah, young Westbury and, and uh, a few of those sort of guys played, um, actually played some reserves games pre-season and they've also played under-18s as well. So we're certainly... Got a philosophy of clearance about playing, you know, playing the kids up in age groups and, and giving them challenges to, you know, to further develop them. So, yeah, look, that's, that's certainly um, those kids are our future. I mean, uh, I'm not going to be running around forever, that's for sure. So, just uh, quickly on that, you see a bright future coming from this group. So, uh, for all the Clarence supporters out there, 
who are dominating in the senior ranks at the moment, do you see this as the next crop of young boys coming through? Oh, definitely. Whilst, um, you know, Clarence, obviously, last year, we were sort of fortunate enough to, to win the inaugural uh, premiership and, and certainly aiming to, to do that again this year. But, you know, we've also got a good mixture of youth. I mean, we had, we had four 17-year-olds playing our grand final side last year. Uh, and, you know, we've got teenagers again this year. We've got a young Ryan Bailey from Oakland. Um, again, I think the development zone uh, which AFL has have put in place have, uh, has been a great concept. And, um, you know, as I mentioned, those couple of kids from Brighton and, uh, you know, Webberley, who spent time at Brighton, is now playing AFL footy. And Ryan Bailey's attracting AFL attention. So, you know, I think um, whilst, there, yeah, there's plenty of experience at the, in the current side, um, you know, we also mix it with a, a good blend of youth, um, Ryan Bailey, Josh Green, uh, who's having a, a stellar season both at senior level and Mariners level. Well, as is per usual there, Blighty Clarence, they're leading the way at seniors and with you at the helm, I think they're in very good hands for the future. We thank you very much for joining us here today. Thank you, Andrew, and uh, yeah, keep going with the show. It's been, it's been a, a great addition to Tasmania footy. Well done, guys. Thanks a lot, Blighty. Thanks, guys. Well, How there we go. Fantastic. Of course, Blighty, was, uh, he's been around the traps for quite a while. He's had a bit of a game with uh, Carlton over there. Fantastic. Best team on the planet. And then, of course, came back to Tasmania. He's coached at Smithton. He's played for the Devils. And there's no doubt about it. He's one of those guys you see him on the field, a bit of white line fever, huff and puff. As you heard him there, he's a fantastic fellow, quality people. And these are the sort of people we need in Tasmanian football. And Clarence... Uh, are doing the right thing as far as their junior program's concerned, Duff. I think uh, Clarence have set the bar very high, Hoppy, and that other clubs need to uh, catch up, to that's, be honest. That, that's exactly right. I mean, no, the clubs are out there trying, and that's where the bar is. If you want to get there, let's get these junior programs involved. By golly, we better keep on going with our segment here, Hoppy. We're getting the wind-up. It's time for Duff's Mailbag. D Duff's Mailbag. Not much on let's here today. Uh, moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go right into how do you purchase a DVD. We've actually had a few emails, so that's really Duff's mailbag for you. But it's pretty simple. As we said uh, the last couple of weeks, simply send us an email to footyshow at hutstv.com.au and uh, just let us know how many DVDs your team may need and uh, we'll get back in touch with your team manager that way, Hoppy. Fantastic, Duff. Yep. And next thing I'd like to talk about is to do with the uh, go umpiring. Yes, of the games that we film. Just very quickly, I'll just uh, pop myself on a little jacket here. And well, of course, this is the um, the, the, the senior um, jacket as we speak. But of course, the um, colours are still the same. You see some fine volunteers week in, week out, standing in the cold. Uh, well, in fact, it's been beautiful of late. Volunteering, doing the goal umpiring. Now, Duff, what is your point? What is your issue? What are you doing? And, of course, we just cut to some goal umpires doing a great job at STJFL level. But very quickly, uh, Hoppy, when we're filming the game, Dads, when you uh, signal the goal, it's we just need you to slow it down a bit. Now, if we cut to some commentary of Kane Triffitt, we can hear Kane, and there's a young fella just there on the, on the box there, uh, Andrew. He's about to kick a goal, and this is what you do if you cut back to me. Over the head, see, take a second, Brown walk up, back, bang! Out. That's how you do Gee, it, Hoppy. I must admit, sometimes you do see a relaxed way the goal umpires with the old-fashioned... Th There's a segment. Bring that back. What's going on with goal umpires? They carry on like that and all. Just a simple thumbs up, surely. Oh, just just you take like, your time you like and, and nice, and, nice and clear and just take your time, Dad. <laughs>